Today, I'll tell you my journey from five to eight thousand dollars as a logo designer. Let's get started. Yeah, 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 that all sounds great, but let's get back to 2019, my beginnings. Zero knowledge about graphic design. I didn't even know how to download Adobe Illustrator, but I found some pirate version. Shh. Anyway, I heard about sites like Fiverr, People Per Hour, 99designs, Upwork, and I wanted to give it a shot. Why not? I tried on 99designs first. I applied, but they rejected me. And now I know why. I was pretty bad. Then I tried on Fiverr. I created a profile and I set a price to be five whole dollars. I was so excited and nothing happened in the first few weeks. So I leave that aside, but I continue to learning and practicing logo design. And suddenly I've got a message from the client on Fiverr. I was so happy. I got my first design gig and I successfully finished it after four or five revisions and I earned my own five dollars. Actually three because PayPal took one dollar and also Fiverr took one dollar. But still, after that I did maybe two or three more gigs on Fiverr and then I raised the price on fifteen dollars and after that nothing. And then I realized that's not a place for me and I had to find another way. At this time, I started watching one YouTube channel called The Future by Chris Do. If you are a designer, you know who I'm talking about. And if you don't know, well, just search on YouTube The Future, but after this video. On that channel, I heard that every designer must have their own portfolio. Logically, if you want clients, you need a proof of your work. I didn't have the money to hire somebody to build a portfolio site for me. So in June 2020, I decided to open my own Instagram account because I heard that you can promote your own work on social networks. And then the Sava Designs profile was born. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. I'll leave a link down below. We are going to hit 10K soon there. Where did I stop? Oh yeah, new Instagram profile, zero followers. Okay, maybe 10 with friends and family, but zero knowledge about social media marketing and no idea on which direction I want to go. So at that moment, I practicing and learning about logo design and I started learning about the digital marketing as well. I spent approximately 10 hours a day in front of the computer learning, designing and creating logos for fake clients for Instagram. And I just loved doing that, but I wanted to grow my audience too and that bothered me. No matter how much everyone are telling us that followers are not important, you just can't put that aside because if you are giving yourself 100% into your account, you want results. After four months, I have three or 400 followers on Instagram, nothing special. And I had maybe two or three more clients, two from Fiverr for $15 and one from Instagram for $50. And that's only because I asked them about the budget and they told me $50. And I said, okay. I was shocked, $50 for one logo, but I was so proud of myself. And that project went well. After that, I met some friends on Instagram and one of them told me that I should try to do 30 days logo design challenge, one logo per day. And I remember that I asked him why. He said, just do it and you'll see the magic. You'll see that people will start following you. Damn, he was right. After 84 days of daily upload, one logo per day, I finally hit that 1K followers. And not just that, I learned a lot about logo design, my process, logo font and shape psychology, and I got few more clients from Instagram. And I finally managed after a couple of tries to set the price for a hundred dollars and client accepted it. Fortunately for me, I had an amazing mentor who speeded up my learning process and made me increase the price by constantly telling me stop charging $20 per logo. You just have to say bigger number and that's it. And it really was like that, but later some clients was told me that $100 was too much for them to pay for a logo design. So again, 
I agreed to work for a 50 or even $20. I knew it wasn't right, but I couldn't get out of my comfort zone probably because I had one or two clients per month and I wanted to earn at least some money. It kept happening until I finally realized that I am the only one there at a loss because I didn't value my work and myself and nobody will do it for you. And that's when I learned perhaps the most important lesson of my career. I learned to say no. If I said that my price was $100, I didn't want to work below that price and that's it. Some of the clients re still rejected that price, but still I hit some clients for $100. And I became pretty confident with that $100. After a few times, it was easy for me to say it. At this time, I was very curious and I asked everyone on Instagram about everything that had to do with design. And I got two answers that completely changed my point of view, literally. First question, I asked one designer who have 80k on Instagram and I asked him how much he charges for a logo design. Rude, I know. Fortunately for me, he didn't have a problem with that and he told me that he charged thousand dollars for a logo. I was amazed and angry at the same time. I was blown away. And that made me thinking how he can do it? Why is he so different than me? Except the experience of course, but he's a human being. If he can do it, I can do it too. And the second question was for the Chris Do. Yeah, I still remember that I jumped into his DM and asked about something like Hey Chris, sorry for bothering you, but uh, is it okay for someone who is still a beginner to share a tutorial or to teach someone something about design? Uh, I don't know if I have credibility for that. And after a few hours I got a reply, just one sentence. You don't have to be an expert to teach somebody something. And I was blown away again. That's when I started to post carousel posts on Instagram, besides logos of course, and that's when I start noticing that my profile are st was starting to grow. I started getting thousands of followers per month and I started getting more and more clients and I started increasing the price and I remember when I was at uh, $200 I didn't want to work for $100 no matter what because I learned the lesson and after two three finished project I increased my price on 250 and then after another two three finished project I increased on $300 $350 400 and after short period of time my price was $500 and then officially I became full-time logo designer. For a few months from then I was at $500 and I didn't even try to increase the price. I was happy with that price but my experience has grown, my knowledge has grown and naturally the price has to keep up. And then one German company have found me on Instagram. They said that they liked my work and they have a project for me. Uh, logo design, social media design, business card, banners, flyers, patterns, I don't know what else, for 1.5K. I was shocked, but I had enough experience and I calmly say, yeah, no problem. The project went fantastically. Clients are very happy with me. And then I realized that I can offer more things beside logo and I can charge for that things. So I started learning about brand identity. I even bought four or five courses just to speed up that learning process. And I started offering that brand identity package to my clients who wanted just a logo by showing the value of the whole brand identity. Some of the clients rejected the offer, some of them accepted the offer, but the story began the same li like with the logo design. After a few, few clients, I raised the price. After a few more clients, I raised the price. And after a short period of time, I was on 2.5k for a full brand identity design without website. And the story is not over yet. Since my clients wanted to website design and website development and I didn't know anything about this, I had to team up with some somebody who know how to do it. 
and I teamed up with amazing web designer. His price was like from 2 to 3.5k for a full web development and UX UI. And like a month ago, we successfully completed a project for $8,000 for full brand identity and website development. It's still like a dream in my head. That would be my story and my journey from five to $8,000 as a logo designer. I left my soul into this story in hope that some of you will get inspired and motivated to work hard and to never give up of doing what you love because really anything is possible. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.